guys, today's video will really take your advertising and targeting to the next level. Today, we're tackling Facebook pixel events. Let's do this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Yoko. I run a digital marketing consultancy agency through which we help brands and entrepreneurs tell stories in a digital world. On top of that, I also make these videos explaining new and exciting ways, tools and strategies that you can start using today to build your brand and business. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get updates on future videos. Now today's video is actually a little bit different than all the other ones because I'm actually recording it in Bali. I know, right? Beautiful Bali. I made the decision to go remote, to go digital nomad a couple of months ago and it took some planning, some organizing with my existing clients. But then a week and a half ago, I finally made the switch. So the upcoming weeks, I will be recording all my videos here in beautiful, beautiful Changu. Then before we dive into Facebook Pixel events, if you don't have a Facebook Pixel installed yet, if you don't know why you should have it installed or how to set it up, make sure you check my other Facebook Pixel tutorial where I explain in depth all the reasons why you should use it and also how you can set it up by your Self. I'll make sure to link it up somewhere here and please do go check it out. It's really important that you get these basics down before we get to the more advanced stuff. That being said, if you did watch it, today we're tackling Facebook Pixel events. Let's do it. Now, where the Facebook Pixel base code is a snippet of code that will track any and all conversions happening on your website, the Facebook Pixel events are smaller specific snippets of code that you can then paste on specific parts of your website that will track specific actions or conversions. Now, that's a lot of specifics, so let me give you an example. In my other Facebook Pixel video, I showed you that you can track a specific action taking place on your website by only using the Facebook Pixel base code. But I also said that you can only do that if you paste that code on only one part or one page of your website and so you can only track one specific action. In that video, I pasted it on the thank you page of a webinar sign up because I knew that if that page was shown, it would trigger the pixel, but it would only be shown to people who actually signed up and I wanted to capture the people that signed up. But now, what happens if I also want to capture the people that came to the landing page but didn't sign up? I can't just start pasting that base code everywhere without variation because it will not be able to distinguish between these different actions. So this is why we start using Facebook Pixel events. With Facebook Pixel events, I would be able to paste a small specific piece of code on that thank you page and another small specific piece of code on my landing page. And that way, when someone goes to my landing page, the first event is triggered and they get added to that data pool. If they also happen to sign up and the thank you page has to load, the other event is triggered and they get added to the other data pool as well. And this gives us much more accurate information of what actually is happening on our website. On top of that, you can really use this to fine tune your targeting when it comes to advertising. Because now I'll be able to retarget, push another ad to someone who came to my landing page but then didn't sign up. And all I'd have to do is create a custom audience on Facebook where I include everyone who came to the landing page, no exceptions, but then exclude the people that saw the thank you page because I know if they saw the thank you page, they have already signed up and I don't want to keep pushing the same advertising to those people anymore. And if you haven't seen my previous video where I explain exactly why you should install this thing and also how you set it up, please do go check that out. But for today, I'm just gonna dive straight in and I'm going to show you on my screen how you set up these Facebook Pixel events. Let's do it. Okay, so guys, before I show you exactly how you set up these Facebook Pixel events, I just wanted to tell you that Facebook offers a lot of valuable documentation on their website as well. So I'll make sure to link this page in the description below. But as you can see, this is specifications for Facebook Pixel standard events. So Facebook offers two types of events. You have standards events on the one hand and then custom events on the other. Standard events are events that Facebook has already created for us because most businesses and most websites will have these events. Custom events on the other hand are events that you can create and set up yourself that are 
specific to your business or website and that Facebook hasn't created yet because not every business or website needs them. But so yeah, they offer this documentation, as you can see, create and install a pixel, create a pixel and business manager about partner integrations, use the event setup tool for web, etc. Like they explain everything really well. And you get a list, for example, here of the standard events. Again, events are just actions taken on your website. As you can see in the first column, it says website action, then the description of that action, and then the standard event code. So I advise you to just sort of read through these because it's really nice to just see what's possible with these events. But that being said, I'm going to head over to my business manager to go on from where we left off last video. So we're in my ads manager. I'm going to click here and I'm going to head over to my events manager and then click pixel. And that will take me to the page that will show me all my pixels that I have in this ad account. You can have multiple pixels in one ad account. And we're going to be using the webinar registration page pixel that we set up last time. Now, this is a pixel that I've used on a past webinar. So it's normal that you don't see too much activity on it anymore. And as you can see, I already set up the page view, view content, complete registration and start trial events. But I can still show you how to do that. So what you want to do is head over to this setup button and then click the drop down. And instead of installing a pixel, we're going to set up new events. And now it will allow you to use the events setup tool, which I'm not going to be using. Um, this is where you can add or edit events directly on your website screen with no coding, which is super useful. But because I'm going to be using this event on a website that's actually not my own website but on my webinar jam dashboard i'm gonna have to manually add event code and what will happen is it will open up this menu that will show you all the different events standard events that you can then install and if you click this drop down it will even show you all these different business sectors that you can choose from and i'm gonna click on education because that best fits my business and as you can see facebook sort of shows all the events that they think would fit that sector best and I already told you that why I want to install this, these events is because I want to know when someone signed up, but I also want to be able to retarget people that came to my landing page, but then didn't sign up. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to track all the people that saw my landing page and then also all the people that saw the thank you page, because then if I... Um, take out all the people that saw the thank you page from all the people that saw the landing page. I have the people that only saw the landing page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the complete registration event, which says a submission of information by a customer in exchange for a service provided by your business. Example, signing up for email subscription. View content is also the other one that I'm going to use on the landing page. And that's a visit to a content page that you care about, such as a product page, landing page or article. Information about the page viewed can be passed to Facebook for use in dynamic ads. So let's start with the complete registration one that we're going to set up on the thank you page. What we're going to do is click this drop down. Then it will ask you if you want to track the event when the page loads or track the event on inline action. Now, don't worry, this is not as hard as it seems. Track event when page loads means if your thank you page is really a separate page, so a completely new page that has to load, you're going to want to use this. But if you, when someone signs up, just change the text of the sign up box to congratulations, you've submitted your email, then that's an inline action because not the entire page is reloading. So. You have to know on your website which one you have to choose. I'm going to go with a track event when page loads. Then they ask you to send event parameters. In this, For this event, it's not really necessary, but I'm going to show you what it is and um, how it works. So as I said, it's not obligatory. You can just toggle with this, turn it on and off. Um, and then this is what you are going to use. For example, if, you, if this action makes you any money if for example someone buys something from your website it's useful that you can put in how much 
that purchase would make you um, because the, you can then calculate if you're running advertising how much ad spend you had how much it made you how much your return on investment was so conversion value is the price of the product or the service so for me this is going to be zero and then the currency for me is euro but i'm going to just quickly show this because it says the currency parameter must use a standard three letter iso currency code so you can find these currency codes on google just type iso currency codes and you'll find it i happen to know that for you it's just this one and you can see while i was filling that out this code changed it added the value in the currency i'll show you again if i remove this if i put it again it will show up now it's really easy guys look it just tells you exactly what to do so now we have this little bit of code we're gonna once again copy it to the clipboard and then it says paste the complete registration event code place the event code on your form completion page add the event code just below the head tag this allows the event code to load along with the pixel code when the page loads so and then it shows you here that you have to place it behind the pixel code so i'll show don't worry i'll show you how that works we're gonna go back in my webinar jam dashboard and if you saw my last video this is gonna look familiar to you i went into the integrations integrated third-party tracking system and this is where in the previous video we already pasted the facebook pixel code the base code so what we're gonna do now we're gonna look for this and facebook pixel code and we're just gonna paste it below it and i'm gonna mention one thing about this because this can get a bit confusing if this is new to you because on the specifications for facebook pixel page they actually show you that you have to paste it within the pixel base code. Both things will work. So as you can see here, they show it that you have to paste it with, within that same base code. And on the other page that Facebook provides, they tell you that you have to paste it after the end of the Facebook pixel code. So both will work. Um, I decide to just paste it after it's easier. I don't have to go and look where I have to paste it. So that's it for the thank you page. Really all it takes. And then all you have to do is say done. For me, I'm not done because I also want to install the view content. And for this one, I'm actually not gonna use the currency value and the currency, but you could give it an ID or a content type. This is for dynamic ads. It's a bit more advanced. We're not going to get into it today. I, I think it's most important that you understand how to set up these events. And then in next week's video, we'll take a look at how to use custom audiences to use these um, trackers to create really targeted audiences. So once again, they give you the base like the you have your base code installed this is the event code you copy it to the clipboard once then again they tell you paste it after the end of the facebook pixel code I'm gonna go back in my webinar jam and this is the one that i want to paste simply on my landing page so that's the registration page tracking and as you can see i have already pasted my facebook base code the pixel base code in there and then after the end Facebook pixel code, I'm just going to paste the event tracker. And that's all it takes. I can now confirm this. And that's done. Then when we head back into the Facebook events manager, all we have to do is click done. They will allow you to test your event code, but if you set it up like this, it will work. And otherwise, just click this button. Again, guys, it's not rocket science. Facebook will lead the way. Um, this is designed so that it is easy to set up. So just click done and that's it. 
I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions left, just leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and check the free course that I have in the description below. And that being said, I wish you a very, very fulfilling week and I'll see you next time.